Another theme of this unit on um, chord progressions is harmonic rhythm. The idea of harmonic rhythm uh, suggests that the chords change at a certain uh, rhythmic duration. In folk music, often that duration is the length of the measure. So for instance, in this folk song, uh, the song The Ash Grove, uh, we're in 3-4 time, which means every three beats we have a new measure, and often in folk music every three beats we also have a new chord. Let's take a look at how we might harmonize this uh, melody. Uh, there's a pickup. For right now we're going to um, just skip the pickup and um, not worry about harmonizing that. But once we get into the, the first full measure, we are in the key of G major. All right, we have one sharp. And uh, the notes in the first measure are G, B, and D. And then there's a, a passing tone, the C. So we won't worry about the C. But that G, B, and D are clearly um, a tonic chord. So we can harmonize that as tonic. And so the melody goes D, G, B, D. Right, and we can have that harmonized with a tonic chord. And actually, as it continues, the next uh, strong notes um, in the next measure are also B and G, which also suggest tonic. So we may as well just have that tonic um, going for two full measures. Okay, so we're, I'm going to clear the uh, the um, ink here and just move on, but um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, and let's move this over. Okay, and now you can see the, uh, the whole song. So uh, in G major, we're going to harmonize... Uh, tonic for two measures, and then we get into this next measure where we have an A, a C, an A, and then in the next measure, a F sharp and a D. Well, all of those add up, of course, to our dominant seven, which is spelled D, F sharp, A, and C, and those are all the, the notes there. So let me go ahead and just use a dominant chord um, for the next, or a dominant seven chord for the next two measures. Then we return to what looks like G and B and G with with some passing tones that we um, you know have to play as part of the melody, but we don't have to account for every single note. So in this next measure, since we have a G and a B strong, we'll return to the tonic. So what I want to point out is notice how we have basically one measure per chord. Actually, in some cases, two measures per chord. Harmonic rhythm does not have to be as fast as the melodic rhythm. Uh, in a chorale, it often is. In, in more classical music, and especially in a chorale type. Uh, music, we'd be harmonizing every note of the melody. But in folk music, we're usually having our harmony last one or even two measures. So it's um, it shouldn't uh, be surprising that we have these chords uh, maybe strumming on a guitar for several measures. All right, we get into uh, the next measure. We have an E and a C, and that actually suggests C, E, G, which is our subdominant chord, which is what I think we'll use here, subdominant chord. And... Then we get to the second to last measure, and often when you get near the end of a song, the harmonic rhythm um, can accelerate. In other words, we can change faster than every measure. Um, here I'm going to use, um, since we have a D and a G, which are part of the tonic chord, I'm going to go ahead and use the tonic. Um, but then when we get to the F sharp, we're going to have to call that part of the dominant, and the last measure will be tonic. So notice the acceleration. Uh, we have been changing every measure right? A measure of tonic, a measure of subdominant. Now we have part of a measure tonic, part of a measure dominant uh, before we get to the case. So at a cadence, um, often the harmonic rhythm speeds up as it does here. So the harmonic rhythm is actually in the beginning, um, two dotted half notes tied together for that chord, then two dotted half notes tied together for that chord, then one dotted half note there, one dotted half note there, a half note there, a quarter note for that dominant, then back to a dotted half note. That would be the harmonic rhythm. And let me go ahead and just uh, clear this and play it uh, with the uh, um, chord progressions that we've um, come up with. Now, th this harmonization is not the right or the only uh, harmonic, um, you know, the tonic, dominant seven, tonic, subdominant, tonic, dominant, tonic. I'm going to play that, and you'll see it's a very conventional um, harmonization for the melody. It works, but it's not the only way to do it. Here's the melody. You can almost hear the, the chords changing if you're a guitarist or a pianist. change to the dominant, and then 
back to the tonic, then to the subdominant, then tonic, uh, maybe tonic 6 4 would be nice here, and then dominant, and then tonic. So one little uh, embellishment I, I added was I made this a tonic 6-4, which is a cadential 6-4. It really worked well there. So that is what harmonic rhythm is.